we are now sitting out the bat signal in Times Square because we've got one of the stars of the Batman joining us. Jeffrey Wright is a Tony, Emmy, and Golden Globe award-winning actor, and now he's putting his talent to work playing James Gordon in the new movie. Jeffrey, it's great to have you back on GMA. Good to see you, my friend. And um, Good to I see heard, you all. I heard growing up you were a Batman fanatic, so your inner child must have been going crazy when you found out you're going to be a part of the new franchise. Yeah, well, I think, you know, I'm not alone in that. Uh, if you go to any comic book store, you'll always see that, that Batman is the largest section. It's like, you know, <laughs> stacked full, uh, 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 you know, and, and I think that, uh, that that passion is, is palpable. And, yes, I was one as a kid who was a massive Batman fan, watched the TV show with Adam West, and, you know, every day after school, WDCA Channel 20 in Washington, D.C., <laughs> uh, for those who grew up there. And I was, you know, I was, yeah, I was, I was fully hooked. So, yeah, it was a great thrill to be a part of this. Didn't expect that I would be asked to, uh, to be in a Batman film, but um, I, I particularly like the fact that I'm involved in this one. I think it's a reinventing of the franchise in a really interesting, smart, mm. thoughtful way. As we said, you play James Gordon. He's not Commissioner Gordon just yet. He's a police lieutenant in this movie. So tell us about his relationship with Batman. Well, um, as I said, we're kind of rethinking the, the, the franchise and actually going back to its origins in the comics, which is Batman is the world's greatest detective. Matt Reeves, our director who also wrote the script, really wanted to, uh, to use that as a way to drive the plot forward and to make the movie, yes, contain all the spectacle that you would expect with a Batman film, but also be psychological and mysterious and emotional and personal. And so uh, Gordon as lieutenant is still a cop in the street. It's early, year two of Batman's story. So they form uh, the beginnings of this partnership and do detective work, try to solve the mysteries of the nefarious Riddler. And it, uh, it really gives me or gave me an opportunity to be at the heart of things with the character and be, you know, in the dirt uh, that is uh, the decaying Gotham. And so uh, uh, yeah, was really attractive for me and, and drew me to, to want to be a part of this. Let's give everybody a look. Who's the mustache with the broken nose? One of the guys I got into it with at the Iceberg Lounge. What are you saying, Kinsey Moon Knights with the Penguin? No, I'm Moon Knights just a cop. Well, you got us hooked right there. <laughs> so, so you talk about rethinking the franchise. My son saw that. <laughs> My son saw that clip. He goes, "Hey, why, why did Batman uh, punch you in the face? What's going on here?" <laughs> so I have to watch the have to, have to watch the film for all to be explained there. You're dealing with the Riddler. You're dealing with the Penguin. Sorry, but you've said you want to see some new villains in this Batman franchise. Well, I, 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 I said, you know, anything that you say about this film gets amplified, I've realized, because, <laughs> uh, again, uh, fans are, are so passionate. I, you know, I said there's any, uh, any number of possibilities. The wonderful thing about Batman is it's, you know, it's been at the core uh, of our culture for a long time now. It began in 1939, 80 years of history. And uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot to mine there. There's uh, an incredibly, uh, you know, broad... Uh, you know, uh, rogues gallery to pull from, but it's constantly being reinvented. Uh, new characters were invented in the TV series. And if the thing is to evolve, sure, you can create new villains. But I think at the same time, what Matt has done to kind of repurpose uh, the Riddler, for example, in this film is really interesting and breathes new life in a way that I'm excited to see if we go forward. I'm excited to see what he might do with, uh, with some of the characters and villains that we already know or some more ex obscure that exist in the 80-year in the 80 year, in the 80 year history. So uh, anything's possible, and I, anything. I I had a chance to see it last Friday. He did a great job of, of doing everything that you said. And another movie that you were in, No Time to Die, is the third James Bond film that you were in. And I would love to hear your opinion. Since Daniel Craig is no longer going to be Bond, who do you think the next Bond should be? The next Bond, well, um, you, know, you know, as I said, grew up in D.C., you know, practically at RFK Stadium. So I'm not approving of much that, you know, happens 
or happened in Giants Blue, but I think you, Michael Strahan, <laughs> might be uh, might be a fine a fine James Bond. I was wondering that's where, where, you know, that that's where I'm going. going with it. <laughs> that's where I'm going with. But you know, or but you know, the ideal Bond is really a, a little bit of Strahan, a little bit of George, a little bit of Robin. I think right there is something that I'm in. Three <laughs> one, I'm in. Let's the do world it. wants to see. There you go. Oh, there you go. Think they'll give us a time off? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we, we you're appreciate the best, you. The best. You, you, you're, you're truly the best. It's always great to have you on the show. Continue success. And everyone, go check out The Batman. It will be in theaters on March 4th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.